Hey guys, today's video is going to be all about your future spouse and their current whereabouts. So what are they doing currently in life? Where are they? What's up with them? This could be a confirmation for those of you thinking that a certain person might be your future spouse. And after that, we will also check when you guys are going to meet or how you could possibly meet this person. Again, for some of you, it might be confirmation because you might be currently in a relationship and you might want to see if this you know resonates and for those of you that are single this could be just a fun reading to watch to learn more about your future spouse so let's get into it i want you guys to choose one group one group only group one group two whichever card you feel the most drawn to that is going to represent your reading and once you pick go to the description and click on the timestamp next to your group let's get to your reading group one so you guys chose this card this is your group let's see what's up with your future spouse at the moment what are they doing what are they up to what are they going through Let's see, let's see. And you let me know in the comments right now before I'm gonna pull a card. If you clicked on this reading because you wanna know about this one specific person, if this is your future spouse or not, or if you're single and you're just, you know, wondering, you're just curious, let me know in the comments. So group one, group one, future spouse of group one. What are they currently going through? What are they up to? The star reversed. We have three of pentacles. Oh, and the, is this nine? Nine of pentacles reversed. Hmm, back of the deck energy, the emperor reversed. Okay, so the first messages that I'm getting is that your person right now is going through transformation or transition if it comes to their career, their work life, what they, what they do for a living. I feel like they're not generally happy with where they are in life but regarding this so there must be some sort of career shift that they are either planning or thinking about considering sorry i had to close the window because my neighbors were staring this person feels like out of alignment with the start in reversed if it comes to career what they do right now and they need a change they need to find their purpose so this is exactly what's happening at the moment I feel like they might be questioning if um, having their own business is a good idea or not because it's going to be a little bit different for everyone here. So um, I feel like it's one of these two. It's either your person is right now working nine to five and is considering, uh, you know, starting the entre entrepreneurship having their own business, etc., or it's vice versa. They had their own business and now they are switching back to nine to five. I feel like it's really important to them and that's what they are currently going through. With the emperor in reverse, it also tells me that this person is reconsidering their values and their priorities and what's really important in life, like building the structure. Yeah, definitely like restructuring things, but like literally just sitting down and asking themselves why did i think that this part of my life was so important if all this time i actually should have been focusing on this on something that is more stable on something that they can build upon upon build on you know what i mean mm -hmm. something that will bring them like long-term results and rewards yeah, they, this person doesn't want to take shortcuts anymore. So it's really right now, like the main focus for them in their life, switching their career and finding the right path for themselves. Yeah, because they were taking shortcuts with Seven of Swords. Let's see what else we have for your person and their current whereabouts. Ace of Swords. Five of Swords, Magician, the world. Hmm. I feel like there might be a decision right now being made if it's a good idea to move somewhere, but they are not sure if they have everything they need in order to do that at the moment. 
Mm-hmm. So there is this new idea, big new idea for a change that they are so desiring. By yeah, I feel like it's just something they're considering at the moment. I'm not sure. I, I actually don't think it's going to be done, but it's one of the ideas popping up, uh, which might mean that eventually in the future, this will become a reality. This person will move somewhere. Hmm. Move somewhere maybe to even meet you. <laughs> For those of you that are single, this might mean that this person is from the other side of the world and they will in the future, you know, move to where you are. Mm -hmm. Because they will be following their calling with the judgment. And those of you, you know, that are not single, you're considering if this person that you are currently with, is that a future spouse of yours? This might be a confirmation. Maybe this person has been talking a lot about, you know, just moving somewhere, going somewhere having these kind of crazy ideas because it feels like it's a little bit out of the blue. <laughs> Let's see what these cards, what we have. Mm -hmm. Chemistry. Worth waiting for. Interesting. I'm mostly getting a message that this person, you don't know them yet. Or you actually might know them. And there's a lot of chemistry between you two. But you have to wait for them for some reason. you got to wait for them. Interesting. So let's see. How could you possibly meet this person? Or when? Because you guys probably want to know when. And I'm going to give a disclaimer. It's really hard to give, you know, uh, to provide kind of timing with Tara. Because... Everything changes. It depends on, you know, your actions and what you decide to do. Um, you have your own free will and it does affect, it's like a chain of events, you know, that it, every action that you do, it affects the next thing that is going to come. And I feel like what's meant for you will find you and you will get it. But sometimes it just looks a little bit different and you might get there kind of quicker or you might have to wait a little bit longer because you might go, you know, on a different, following different path. Um, so, yeah. Okay, well, let's see, though, what will be happening in your life around the time when you will meet this person, your future spouse, the fool. So the fool is representing... <laughs> And now you don't tell me in the comments, the fool, when she pulled the fool, that's me. Because <laughs> I feel like a lot of people say that. <laughs> the fool is representing a beginning of a new journey, a start of a new chapter and diving, um, diving into something new without having like much prepared or uh, with the feeling uh, of doubt as well, but feeling like you have to take the leap in order to progress in your life and you know, no pain, no gain kind of uh, situation. So with the full, I feel like around the time when you're going to meet this person, you are starting something new. You're starting a new journey. You're starting a new chapter, a chapter that you can, you know, when you're going to be, let's say years down the line, you will be going back to this particular event and being like, oh yeah, when this happened, when I started with this, and then, you know, the, the story is going to continue. Uh, so it's a significant change, transition, and something new happening. It's exciting, but it's a leap of faith um, that you're taking. Okay, so around that time, I feel like you also might get disappointed by someone's action with the Five of Swords. It's a situation where something has been said or done, and you can't really do much about it. Like, it hurts, it sucks, um, but the words have been already said, the action have been, you know, done. Is that how you say it? Done. Yeah, someone took the action to take. Jeez, <laughs> English. <laughs> Please let me know in the comments. <laughs> like, sometimes I don't know the right words. Um, Something, something basically happened where you can't really control the outcome anymore. You just have to 
accept the fact that it happened, accept the fact that it's shitty and just move on in with your life. Uh, you can't dwell on it because it's not going to be good for you. It's a no-win situation. Um, the person that did it to you, um, you know, they're not very happy about it either. It's just a shitty situation. So I feel like some sort of situation like that is happening in your life around the time when you're about to meet this person. Again, another maybe confirmation for you. If you are in a romantic relationship right now and you know that this exactly happened when you guys met. And we also have the two of cups reversed. So yeah, again, this is someone like that betrayed your trust. Um, the, the connection that failed, it's test. Mm, not because of you, not because of you. And I feel like you're having a hard time kind of like dealing with it, but you know that you have to move on. Uh, yeah. Six of Swords, literally. Like, I have to move on with my life. I have to go through these challenges. And you're picking yourself up and you're moving forward. So I feel like it's been a while since this happened. This situ situ <laughs> shitty situation happened and you are already moving on. And that's kind of when you are going to meet your person. The sun is representing happiness and joy and being grateful seeing the abundance in your life even though you know you might also feel lack at the same time um you are appreciative of what you have so there is this there is this spark of hope and positivity <laughs> um even though <laughs> life has been testing you your feelings your connections with other people um but with the sun, it shows that you're still hopeful for the for the future. Ace of Swords is also about getting some good news. So you're starting, yeah, you're about to start something new, step into this new chapter. You're starting to see things from a more positive perspective. Um, and you're saying something, you're saying something, you're saying yes to an opportunity with the Ace of Swords. Yes, yes, yes. So that's what I have. And let's see. I have like special cards for when, where you could meet this person. So give me a second. It's hard to get them out. So I'll get them out maybe one by one. This is so random, but I'm getting like, <laughs> I'm getting like a, a feeling of Starbucks. <laughs> Starbucks or mm, like cafe. That's where you could possibly see this person or meet this person or like hang out with them for the first time. Getting a coffee. Where could you meet this person? <laughs> From all the cards that I have here, look. <laughs> like literally, coffee shop. Okay, period. We also have school or university. I feel like this also could be like work environment. Yeah. <laughs> we also have clubs, so that's like totally different. Maybe it's somehow mixed together, you know? So these are your clues. Thanks guys for joining. If you would like me to focus on your specific energy, you can book a reading with me. I have a special tier for your future spouse, for your soulmate, for your next romantic partner, and general tiers where you can ask any kind of question that you want. Make sure to follow me here and follow me on Instagram because I'm uploading there daily. Yes, daily. So make sure to follow me there. Uh, the link will be in the description because I'm afraid that, you know, maybe in the future I'm going to change the nickname and then yeah so everything in the description thanks for joining have a great day and i'll see you guys in my next one bye group two okay so let's take a look at where your person is currently in their life what's happening in their life this could be you know give you an idea if the person you're currently seeing uh is your future spouse or not um, or, you know, as I was saying at the, in the intro of the video, this could be just fun reading for you. Okay, so let me know in the comments as well before I'm going to pull the first card. Uh,
go to the comments right now and let me know if there's one specific person on your mind and you're here to check if they are your future spouse or if you're single and you're just wondering it will let me know what kind of videos also to create for you guys i want to get to know you know my audience better okay so let's see very specific message i feel like you are going to meet this person around the time like what's going to be happening in your life i feel like uh, if you have a pet, you're going to be going to the vet with them. Not anything like super serious, like maybe they have a stomach ache or, or something or they need to get their vaccine. Um, but I see you going to the vet. So that's very specific, I know. But uh, yeah, okay. So what your person is going to be going through around the time when you guys are going to meet. So the first card that we have is four of cups reversed. Okay. The death reversed. Don't worry about the death card. Like, people are scared of it, but don't worry. Um, in this case, though, <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. Ooh, Nine of Cups, the Chariot, Progress. Okay, oh my god, that's dark. Okay. Ooh, um, yeah, I told you don't worry about it because this, like, never happens. I, But I'm getting, like, intuitive message that there, this person might be going through a grief. Um grief yeah grieving someone around the time when you guys no this is actually what's going on right now oh right this is what's going on right now okay oh that's sad yeah so they might have lost someone um mm -hmm. okay but other than that we also have the four of cups reversed oh yeah this makes sense you know because i feel like they've been in a very like depression um stage state depressive state uh, and with a four of cups it's it is about this you know not caring not being bothered but when this is in reverse it tells me that this person is like right now picking up picking themselves up from this situation from what happened from what they have lost they know that they have to move on it's gonna be hard um and they're not going to be probably able to, you know, move on quickly. It's normal. Um, but that's what they know that they have to do with the chariot. There is some sort of progress, definitely. Um, deciding, like, you know, what next steps to take. Trying to motivate themselves. Um, this also could be actually about getting you a new vehicle, new car. Or moving somewhere also moving somewhere um or going like on a trip mm -hmm. and the knight of cups this person right now is searching for love for fulfillment so those of you that are single i feel like if you don't you know you don't know this person yet or maybe you don't know them but you're not together uh, then this person then this means that this person is looking for love they want to find that partner they don't want to be alone um, they want to find the love of their life. Mm. And for those of you that are in a relationship, I feel like <laughs> if you feel like this is your person, the person that you're currently with, it doesn't mean that they're looking for somebody else. Just wanted to make that clear. Um, I feel like this then mean that, means that they are looking for like fulfillment or they're looking for something. Yeah, they're looking for something that will make their life even better. Or just better than it is right now because if they're going through a hard time due to losing somebody mm, they need to find that spark again and i feel like that's what they're doing at the moment let's see what else we have oh we have the king of coins but reversed what else the strength the lovers and the eight of wands so this person is definitely very focused right now on their emotional state on their mental health on uh, self-improvement but more like on emotional mental level rather than mm, career kind of uh, career money financial or practical level like it's not that it's not it's not the king of pentacles energy uh, they're trying to get to the root of the problem but like they're 
like I'm, I'm literally seeing this person go into like a psychologist or psychiatrist because they know that they have to fix themselves here and here and then the life around them can also get fixed or then they can take care of the more um, practical things and tangible things you know what i mean right so that's what's happening right now and they are making progress with the eight of wands this is about um the action that is already in motion so this is already happening mm -hmm. yes okay so let's see what else we have with these cards and then we'll see guys uh, what's going to be happening in your life around the time when you guys meet and again it might be confirmation for you or just a fun fact something to look forward to calling in your soulmate like i literally told you for singles <laughs> calling in your soulmate this person is heavily focused right now on finding the right person finding the right per person for themselves chemistry okay Trust. Mm hmm. Yeah. I feel like they need to rebuild the trust. But it's about themselves. It's about them working on their emotional state so they can give back, so they can like give to the to the right person. Like they need to fix themselves before they can share their love and express their love. Um, yeah, I feel like it's very mature of them to have this kind of mm, mindset, you know? Like, they're not looking for love, so it's going to fill that hole, that, the hole that they feel, or that emptiness that they feel. They're looking for, they want to fix themselves, and when they do, become the best version of themselves, and when they do, call in that soulmate, you. <laughs> okay so what are you going through around the time when this person is going to enter your life Ooh. Okay. chaos <laughs> you're going through chaos oh my god okay just a lot of cards let me get them off okay so you're definitely also working on your mental health around that time with a strength card you're also calling in your soulmate. <laughs> um, you have, around the time you are like finishing something, there's the end of a chapter with the world. It could be like finishing college, finishing uh, university, ending like a contract with someone, uh, moving somewhere. So finishing like one chapter and moving to the other, onto, onto another. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening in your life around that time. It could definitely also be connected with ending a romantic connection with someone. Because um, we have the Two of Cups, we have the Lovers. I feel like you're very focused on your friends around that time. You, maybe, you know, all this time you've always been in a connection with someone or always talking to someone. And around that time, I feel like, yes, you're, you're calling in your soulmate, but more on a kind of like a law of attraction level where you are working on yourself, you are open to like, like bringing that soulmate in. However, you're not practically specific tears for your future spouse, for your soulmate, for your next romantic partner, or you can ask me any kind of question that you want, anything that you're wondering. I also would love you to follow me here and on my Instagram because I'm uploading there daily lately so make sure to do that the link also will be in the description box 